The first thing I like to do before building a cable is lay out my tools and materials. For this project, I'll be using a soldering iron, two vices, a jacket stripper, a wire stripper, and a wire cutter. I also like to have a sharp blade and needle nose pliers just in case I need them. The materials I'll be using today are a Megami instrument cable and Neutrik TS and TS silent plug. If you've never used a silent plug, I strongly suggest you try one as soon as possible. Before stripping back the outer jacket, slide the boot onto the cable. I like to add the chuck at the same time. Make sure to remove the tag in before sliding onto the cable. Repeat this step on the other side. We are now ready to remove approximately half an inch of the outer jacket. I like to use a jacket stripping tool as it is safer and more precise than a knife. With the jacket removed, I can now peel back the shielding and then twist it to make sure it's out of our way. We can now see the black subshield. The subshield on most high-end cable is conductive and needs to be removed. Builders that do not peel the subshield away are asking for problems. I like to use a wire cutter to peel back the subshield. Now that the subshield has been removed, we can take our wire stripper and remove about 1 8 inch of the clear insulation. Repeat this step on the other side. To tin the wire and shield, simply take your soldering iron and hold it against the wire for about two seconds and add just a little bit of solder. Repeat this step and you're good to go. We are now ready to solder. I have my cable secured in one vise and my connector in the other. I've preset the center wire into the tip pin and the shield right below. Take your soldering iron and place it against the pin for approximately two seconds and add some solder. And repeat this for the shield. I have prepped and tinned the cable on the other end and once again Secure the cable in one vise and have the silent insert on the other. I have preset the center wire into the tip pin and have the shield below. Take your soldering iron and place it on the center pin for approximately two seconds and then add some solder. Repeat this step for the shield.
and then you're done. Now that both inserts are soldered, slide the chuck and boot up to meet the insert. Next, add the housing. Screw everything together. Remember, hand tight is more than enough. And now I'll repeat the same step on the other side, sliding the chuck up and then the boot. Add the housing, screwing together hand tight. And now we have a ready to use instrument cable.